Hey everyone, this is Jason with Preston Street Market and I am back with part three of the um, Goodwill box, thegoodwillbox.com. This is bag number three. I opened the box live during um, part one. Um, part one bag had a few goodies in it. Part two was not so great. And this is the third and final part and I'm hoping that this redeems the other two bags. Um, as I mentioned in the first video in the past, I've gotten really good stuff from these guys. Um, and this time just wasn't that great. Um, so I'm hoping that this bag is, has some treasures for us to make up for the last two bags. But this is the name of the game. You're never guaranteed um, anything. You know, you could get literal trash, which has happened, not from them, but from other other places so um please subscribe if you're enjoying like follow leave feedback whatever you feel like doing let's get right into it and see what we've got take out just a little bit i'm really really hoping that this is better than the last two because i don't want to mark these guys off of my list well, I'll just leave that there. So I saw this ring back there. Could it be? Could it be? No, oh, it can't be. So it's pretty, but, uh, you know, costume, not, not silver. So let's go. So we have a little music, music note earring that appears to be sterling. It's marked there if you can see so we'll wait and see if we can get the mate curious to see what this is hope everybody's doing well okay 2016 or 2010 six i don't know what that is um and this is some sort of gold tone i'm sure necklace yeah definitely gold tone necklace Okay, whoops, sorry guys. So we have a bracelet here. Um, pretty sequiny beads. Let me get that out of the way. Gold tone bracelet. Best friend ever, Kate Spade. So a nice gold tone, Kate Spade. It's got lots of scratches and wear. I'm not sure that I could really do anything with it, so that'll probably go into craft. Uh, this says Sterling 925. Okay, so a sort of, I'm gonna have to test it because that's got a lot of yellowing. I'm gonna have to test and make sure that that's actually Sterling. So set that aside. Right, a pretty um, red enameled bib style uh, necklace. I don't see a hang tag, but there we go. And so that is Coventry, Sarah Coventry faux pearl dangles. Mm hmm. So this is a uh, very bright <laughs> silver tone, a sort of gray AB maybe necklace. Some kids beads. Oh, cute little owls, brass owls. Mm. Oh, and of course, no box would be complete without some wooden jewelry, right? Oh, my bad. Wait. This is not wooden. So this is like a mixed metal, mid-century kind of. So you've got copper, silver, brass. Um, very likely not sterling, but definitely a vintage mid-century type piece. The back might be wood. No, it's not wood, but that's that's actually kind of nice with that inlay. Let's set that aside. 
All right. Oops. Break it. Okay, just a fashion ring. Have. Uh, let's see. This is the um, the Lord's Prayer on a rubber sort of band. We have lime. I wouldn't say lime green. This is sort of like uh, reminds me of um, what are those things called? Those sour candy lemon heads. Sort of what this looks like. So I don't see a hang tag indicating maker. Let's see. Mm, so this is a tassel very worn, um, sort of tasseled um, necklace. Do whatever you want with it piece. All right, gold tone. Um, sorry about that noise. That's why I like to have my music. Um, I'm not really sure what that is. It's not Swarovski. Definitely doesn't look like Swarovski. So a gold tone star um, pendant necklace. Let's see, silver tone. Sterling, Sterling Forever, okay? So it says Sterling Forever. I'm not convinced that this is actually Sterling Silver. In fact, I'm pretty sure that it's not. Um, but that's what the hang tag says. It's probably just a brand that I've never heard of. So no hang tag here, but uh, green sort of um, necklace. We have a gold tone chain with a re oh, an oval um, pendant. Not seeing any marks. Yeah, no markings. Okay, horse. Guess that's. Don't know. So a fashion ring. This is another bib style um, necklace. I'm so sorry that's so loud. They're spraying for bugs. Um, so there's that. Oh, it's not looking that great so far, you all. Get some more out of here. Oops. No, let's just dump it all out. Why not? Let's just go for it. Dump it all out. Make a big mess, right? Lots and lots and lots of bangles. Oh, those are some huge hoops. Let me, whoops. Try to clear out some of these bangles. Okay. Give them a once over just to make sure. another of those huge hoops. Okay. So lots of um, gold tone bangles. Got a little charm here, not silver and very much feels plastic. That's cute. What are you? An, oh, an earring. So enamel AB faux pearl, a little crab pen, gold tone. These look very much like carnelian, but they're just glass beads. Um, fashion earring. So this is. Um, 
Van Arpels, but this is fake. Van Arp I think that's how you say it. it. They wouldn't put it in a plastic bag like that. Yep. That's exactly what it says. It's got a serial number. I don't know if you all can see. BCA 750, of course, meaning 18 karat. Then something ARP, well, I forget how to say it, but this is definitely, a, you know, a made in China fake. Um, definitely not real. It wouldn't have been in that bag. Uh, so, yeah, I don't mess with fake jewelry. I just put it into craft. Let someone else deal with it. A gold tone chain. Uh, yeah, gold tone chain. Now, oh, this is obnoxious. I like the hanger. It's kind of cute, but kind of obnoxious too. So it was $39.99 originally, and it looks like it's broken. Stretchy rhinestone ring. I want to be able to use those rhinestones. Let me get some more of these bangles. Bracelets out of the way. So we have some Alex and Ani here. Um, Alex and Ani. Yep, so Alex and Ani and some regular, oops, bangles. Try to get this carded jewelry out of the way. American Outfitters that has feathers. I just think that's unsanitary, no thank you. That always goes into craft, for me at least. Gold tone, that's Ann Taylor, a gold tone cuff. Now this is interesting, it's vintage. You know, I've always gotten really good vintage jewelry from these guys. I don't know um, what's going on with these few bags, but mm. there, you, there you have it. No markings that I can see anywhere. Really heavily worn on the back. That's a shame. This is not together. Okay, yeah. It's a little sunflower pen. Gold tone chain with the initial D or the letter D. Oh, that says something. Nope, it does not say anything. Okay, letter D. All right, excuse me. So we have more uh, bangles here. Oh boy, come on, come on. Oh, that's pretty. Made in India uh, to look like the evil eye. Um, it's pretty, but it won't be able to go in my auction, unfortunately. Let's see. Well, this is interesting. It's not marked, but these are nice um, glass beads and crystals. Ew, that's so gross. Oi. Missing a stone. That's going to go into craft. Fashion. Fashion ring. <laughs> Look how silly. <laughs> This actually might be J. No, J. Crew makes some earrings with the same material, but that's definitely not J. Crew. All right, another enamel, dirty, dirty fashion ring. So some opalescent glass with a plastic Buddha. Okay, earring. I saw the match. Oh, yeah, right here. So we've got a mate here. Those with the earrings. Got a silver tone. What does that say? Tommy Hilfiger. 
stretchy um, silver tone. Oh. Japan, so another silver tone. All right, come on, wake us up. Give us something to scream about, come on. So pretty seed bead with a little art glass bead in the center. It's a fashion ring. Um, this is a sterling, um, you know, lapel pen. It's got a little stone in the center. That may be our only good piece out of this box, but that's okay. That's the name of the game. Uh, earring. Another gold tone earring. Oh, that's nasty. All right. Oh, that's cute. A little elephant. Looks like a genuine pearl. Not signed, but this is very crude. I like the little elephant, but I don't think it'll make it pasta craft craft a lot all right so lulu natural 115 dollars why rs so i don't i don't know that that's necessarily in usd because this, these are not gold Hmm. I don't know. Ooh, pretty pearls. Pretty, pretty. And they're real. Look at that. Can you be gold, please? Oh, we're gold. 14K. OMG. These are really, really nice, luxurious, long, genuine pearls. Look at that. Just when I was about to give up. And these look to me like they are diamonds. I'll have to test them and put it in the comment section after I test them. Um, to see, you know what? I actually have my diamond tester here, my Presidian. You'll just have to excuse me one moment while I grab it. So I'm still not the best at editing video, so I'm sorry that you will have to sit here in silence while I go and get the Presidian tester, so. Let me move all this out of the way. Now I'm excited. You don't know how many times I almost turned the camera off <laughs> throughout this one. So I'm I'm so thankful to have this. What a really nice piece, I tell you. All right. Let me just calibrate it. Make sure it goes all the way over. Yep. All right. Let's see if I can hit the diamond or hit. Oops. And we have diamonds. See? I don't know if you can see. I'm going to hit it back here. Yep. We have diamond. So this is a very, very nice find. That closure is so nice. Stamped 14K. Beautiful pearls. Beautiful, beautiful pearls. Oh, I'm so happy with this. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Goodwill Florida. It's about to write you off. <laughs> All right. Stretchy bracelet. Um, earring. Ugly earring. So we have another dangly shell earring. Uh, handmade. These pearls are genuine, I can tell by looking. Yep. 
this is a handmade piece. This is Halite, turquoise Halite. Um, I don't think that'll make it to my auction, but that's okay. Ugh. Hmm. Oh, that's silver. Okay, I gotta get untangled this thing. Oh, we we. Let me get these out of the way. Just these are child's, you know, bead kit necklaces. What do I do with the thing? Oh, here it is. Okay, if you can see here, it's marked Mexico TR27925. So um, nice, probably Taxco piece. Uh, wooden earring. Oh, wow. This is really bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I think we got it. It's a little snowflake missing a few stones. We'll set that in craft. This is really pretty. Broken, but pretty and has some age. Um, so gold tone necklace with pendant. This has an initial A, or letter A. I don't know why I keep saying initial. Um, this is the gold, rose gold tone. Little bracelet. So there's a big estate sale here in Houston this weekend. By the time you guys watch this video, I'll probably have already been there and working on uh, going through that stuff, but there's a nice estate sale with lots of jewelry coming from one of my favorite estate sale companies. So I am looking forward to seeing what they have this weekend. So silver and gold tone bracelet. Oh, this is cute. Mother of Pearl carved earring screw back. Let's see if we can find a mate to that. Somebody will like it. More handmade beads. Okay. This is signed. What do you say? Where's my thing? Bored my eyes. EBCJ. Not quite sure what is that, but um, there you go. So there was a mat. Oh, this is the pendant that goes. So far, we've only found the one earring. Ugh. So this costume. Ooh, some googly eye earrings. <laughs> Evil eye bracelet. All right. My allergies are kicking today. Oy. I think that's Monet. Yeah, vintage Monet gold tone necklace. Blue art glass earring. What in the world? Oh, it's a pair of earrings together. Okay. And they say Crown Trafari. As you know, Crown Trafari is older than just Trafari. So those are a nice vintage pair of silver tone textured earrings. I'll set those aside. Um, earring, another silvery tone bangle, abalone, oh, it looks like there's the pair, abalone earrings, not my type of item I would put in my auction, but still pretty, so that's a little pendant, 
right, what do we have here? Uh-oh. What does this say? Did my eyes deceive me? I think they do. Get back. Wow. 14K. I don't know if you all can see. My macro lens just really does not pick up like it does when I go live elsewhere, but you know, I don't know if you can kind of see right there. It says 14K. And I'm so sorry. I need to clean my hands. This jewelry was really dirty. But it says 14K. You kind of see there. And then there's um another mark that I'm just not under I'm not understanding. It looks like I don't know. It looks I don't know. And then, so it's broken, but I can still sell this for scrap. Let's see, since I've got this thing here. Let me put this back on and see if these are diamonds. And if they are, they're so small, I don't think it would really matter. But for scrap, you know. And I might can fix this. No, I can't. That's too small for me to fix. Let me see. Oops. Oops, I hit the metal. So I don't believe that they're diamond. Well, yes, they are. There it goes. So these are diamonds, little um, pave um, diamond uh, bracelet, little infinity. And I really wish you all could see this up close. Um, the mark, maybe someone could identify it. It almost looks like EFEF. -E I'll try to get a better picture of it and post, but that's 14 karat. I'll have to test to make sure, but that's not bad. Right, uh, silver tone disc bracelet. What do we have here? So a gold tone ring, but it's giving me vibes of gold gold. It's bendy. I don't see anything. So I'm going to have to look into this. It just looks too nice. I'm going to have to check into that. Test it and see. It's a little gold tone. Um, hoop. God, this jewelry is just gross. All right. Okay, a dangly silver tone with some faux coins, costume necklace. So, uh, bangle. Come on, Tangles. Come on, come on. So this is somehow connected there. I'm not sure that it's exactly worth my time. So that's law. And then this one is quite nice. It's got layered turquoise definitely halite and some turquoise beads no no maker so we'll, we'll put that in our craft lot put this stuff back over here so we have a stretchy bracelet a fashion ring Eight something R. Tangled hot mess is what it is, really. Um, not looking like silver. It looks 
Okay. Well, it's either broken or that's supposed to be some kind of dangle. So there you go. All right. Um, beads, Just some bead settings. Brooks Brothers. Hmm. I didn't really know they made jewelry like this. Um, $39.50. So gold tone. Gold tone. Ring. Oh, we're marked. Stella and Dot. It's kind of in rough shape, though. Um... Uh, pink or fuchsia bracelet. Oh, what is this? This is really pretty. Earring. That's really, really nice. But with that foil back stone, I don't think it's any um, gold or anything, but it's still nice. Okay. have another couple of Bangles. Let me just give them a glance. Okay, more. Lots of bangles in these these few these three bags. Lots of them. Let me get this out of the way. All right. So this is a long boho you boho dangle enamel um, earring. Nope. I'll set it aside. It doesn't look like we're going to find the mate, but who knows? Here we go. That is Alfani. Music note earring. That's recycled. That needs to go in the trash. Um, a silver disc, silver tone. American flag earring. Let's see. This is nice and soft. Silver tone chain. We have a an etched silver tone cuff link. Doesn't look like well, it is sterling. You can see it right there, sterling. So that's sterling with only one. This will go into craft. I mean, not excuse me, scrap. I have a bunch of scrap silver. And this is very dirty. I'm going to set this aside. It's most likely not gold, but just for my own sanity, I'm going to test it and see. All right. We have a costume gold tone necklace. Looks like we're going to be stuck with a bunch of mismatched earrings. I hate that um, because nobody will ever be able to use it or get any use from it unless it's through craft and repurposed. So another evil eye bracelet. Let's see. What is this? Maybe choker anklet. I'm not sure pretty worn so this is an earring unmarked on the back costume that's just a piece of trash some stones all set aside that's pretty I wish this were a real ring oh it's Brighton okay I don't know if you all can see there see the heart with the B that's Brighton and that's a nice little ring if I can clean that up and it's not too scratched, I think I can sell that. And last, but certainly not least, we have a charm bracelet. It kind of looks like silver, but the charms are definitely not silver. Look how dirty. That's so gross. Let's just see. Are we going to close with something fantastic? Um, no, 
It doesn't look like it, but that's okay. I'm happy with what we've got. That, I'm so excited about that set of pearls. Yep. So this is just a silver tone um, charm bracelet with some charms. And that's it. This concludes the three bags that we've got from, let me, oh. This is the last thing. Okay, stretchy uh, bracelet. So I am overall very happy. I spent again a hundred on all three bags with shipping. I am very curious about this. I don't I don't think they're Mickey Moto, but they're definitely something special to be diamonds there and uh, the 14k. Um, and then we've got this nice sterling bangle, this sort of mixed metal mid-century um artisan piece uh, what else oh we got this bracelet that's also sterling um got some crown trafari here vintage crown trafari we've got some sterling scrap oh i forgot about this 14k um bracelet that's broken and these little stones are little pave diamonds and then Brighton Ring. So this, the last box ended up being the best box. And again, I'm so happy to find these pearls. So happy. Um, because I was beginning to worry. So thank you all so much. This video ran a little bit longer than I, I like to keep it under 30 minutes. But I hope that you all stayed entertained. I appreciate you watching. Um, if anybody has seen these pearls before and knows the maker, please let me know. Um, they're very nice. I'll say that, um, as you can see. Um, so I will see you all soon. Um, thank you for watching and have a great night.